Hello, hello, guys. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo se encuentran? Los escucho, guys. Guys. ¿Qué tal, Máximo? ¿Qué tal, Jancy? ¿Qué tal, Brandy? Ok, guys. Hello, hello. Eh, ¿Me escuchan, chicos? Muy bien, chicos. Eh, daremos inicio a la clase. Solo vamos a dar eh, dos minutos más de... Eh, de tiempo, dos minutos más para que nuestros compañeros puedan pues, uh, unirse a la clase y luego de eso comenzaremos. ¿Qué haremos ahora? Muy bien, guys. El día de hoy haremos una práctica de reading, pero no la práctica de reading que siempre tenemos. Hoy vamos a leer algo diferente. ¿Por qué? Porque si se fijaban como lo que estábamos discutiendo el día de ayer, nosotros lo que queremos en este todo este curso, ¿no? este es cuatro semanas, es incrementar pues, los reading skills. Obviamente, los reading skills vienen conllevando pues, muchas cosas de la mano, como obviamente un mejor vocabulario, a better fluence, and also a pronunciation tool. It's okay, Yolisa. Oh, I'm truly sorry. Uh, I'm truly, truly sorry, Yolisa. I hope you, you feel better soon. Um, it's almost time, guys. It's almost time to start with the class. Thank you for, so much for uh, letting me know that information, Yolisa. And right now, we will do this one. Vamos a comenzar con esto. Luego de esto, vamos a pasar. Hola, chico. You're welcome. A esto. Have you ever read uh, The Wizard of Oz? ¿Alguna vez han leído El Mago de Oz? No, never. Thank you, Brandy. What about the rest? Mm -hmm, chicos. Muy bien. Para las que no, para las personas que aún no han leído, no saben cuál es la historia del Mago de Oz. Muy bien, se trata de una historia donde Dorothy viaja a un mundo completamente de fantasía, muy parecido al de Alicia, solo que en este mundo se va a encontrar con tres personajes, las cuales la van a acompañar a ella en su aventura. Eh, who are those people? The Scarecrow, Thingman, and Crowley Lion. What's the meaning of Thingman? Mm -hmm, guys? El hombre de hierro. This is Iron Man. <ríe> ok. Thin Man es como ojalata, el hombre de lata. El hombre de lata. El hombre de lata. And what about Cowardly? León cobarde. Okay, guys, and what is the big difference between a wizard and the wicked? Mm -hmm. Oh, the wicked witch. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre the wicked witch o witch and wizard? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Witch que es solo bruja. 
Mm -hmm. And what about wizard? Wizard. Ma, como mago? Mm -hmm. No. See, are you all right? Wizard is a magician guy. As Brandy says, it's a mago. And which is Bruja. And the wicked, the wicked, is that is like a name or nickname or what that okay. means? The wicked witch is like the evil witch. It's something similar. The what? Evil witch. Evil. Like the bad witch. Okay. Why? Because also in this story we got the good witch. Tenemos una bruja mala, bruja buena. Bien, guys. Necesito un voluntario. Que le gustaría comenzar a leer el primer párrafo. Ok, Brandy, go ahead. ¿No necesita más amplio? No. Déjame ponerlo así. Until where? Uh, just the first paragraph. Until here. Dorothy lived in a state of Kansas with her uncle Henry and her aunt M. They are live in the little wooden house in the middle of the great Kansas prairie. I don't know if it's okay, prairie. The no, land no. the land was very flat and there were no trees on other houses near nearby. Okay, this is the first word. Okay, guys, if we don't know how to pronounce this, we got this tool. Thing is, prairie. We can hear it. Ah, sorry. No problem. Prairie. 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 ¿Cuál es en español? Si se fija aquí, está. Prairie. Aquí está el, la fonética. He dicho... <coughs> de dicha palabra. Ahora bien. Estás. Brandy, if I ask him to you, did you find new vocabulary here? Uh, this was the first one. I, well, I was fucking on how to pronounce. Mm -hmm. Pray. Uh, como prioridad. Mm, es parecido, pero es como pradera. Ah, pradera. Ok. That's, that's the mean. Pradera. Um, State Uncle Henry. Ah, good. Good then? Who was the second? The Wooden. one. Well, Wooden. Wooden. It's like a house made uh, with tables. Ah, uh, yeah. Ok. It's good a wood. It, yeah. Ah, uh, ok. Like... Got it. Mm -hmm. Ok. But. I will I would like to show you this. Okay, esta parte. Muy bien, chicos. Yo sé que si les pregunto si ustedes reconocen las palabras o las sí, las palabras que oraciones o oraciones que tenemos aquí lo van a hacer y sé que me van a decir, "Yes, I understand all of them." But I would like to clarify something. Si ustedes se fijan, aquí está hablando sobre la geografía del lugar. If I ask you guys, how is the geography of your town or your neighbor? What do you say? Yo les pregunto, ¿cómo es la geografía de su lugar? ¿Cómo me dirían? It's a flat. It's a lion. No. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
No, in my case, it's like a. I live in La Santísima Trinidad. I don't know if you know here, but it's like mm -hmm. a month. I don't know. It's like a mountain. Mm -hmm. Hills. Yeah, it's not flat. Hills. You can use hills. 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 Okay. Como Beverly Hills, pero sin el Beverly. Okay. Hills. Mm -hmm. Hills is like a little mountain. Okay. Okay, what about the rest? What about you, Maximo? How is the geography in your neighbor? Como la Good evening. Good evening, Maximo. Is flat? No. No. Okay. There are mm, mountain. Or hills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Uh, in my case, I live uh, close to a forest. It's like a hill, but I got a forest back my house. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go ahead. I live in Zaragoza. Mm, I am true. living in Zaragoza. That's perfect. Uh, it's a beautiful and quiet place with a lot of trees there. Okay, si se fijan, guys. Y es lo que quiero recalcar. El vocabulario ya lo tiene. Solo es de ponerlo en práctica. Por cierto, Brandy, you did a great job reading this. Solo ocupó yes. las puntuaciones, como deben de ser. Y ocupó, pues, un ritmo constante. And right now, I need a second volunteer. Okay. Morena, Me? can you help us, please? <laughs> okay. Morena, can yes. you read since uncle to two? Okay. Uncle Henry was a farmer hadn't had a build a wooden house himself. Many years before, the house only had one room. That room was used for eating and for sleeping in two. Thank you. And right now, Morena, did you find the new vocabulary there? No, teacher. Okay. Do you remember, guys, uh, maybe in the midterm uh, mid level, or in the middle level, we learn how to speak about our house. If you see, this one is a way that we can speak about our house. Y si se fijan, ¿qué ocupamos aquí para hablar de eso? The verb to be in past. We use past. Also, en todo este párrafo hay muchos, muchos pasados. Esta. Vamos a ver. Jancy, what kind of pass is this one? Pass perfect. Yes, this is pass participle. Because the pass perfect we use was plus ing. But you are so close, Jancy. Está bastante cerca. Yeah. Muy bien. Si se fijan. Guys, y aquí quiero mostrar. Todo esto ya lo aprendimos. Si vamos a hablar en pasado, no necesariamente vamos a ocupar solo el past perfect en todo el parado. No, we can use also simple past. What else, what else, what else? 
past perfect. Sleeping too. Sitting in. No, no, no. Yes, it's okay. Sleeping in too. En algunas ocasiones, guys, después de una preposición, esta es una preposición, or we will use this ing. Yeah, because it's like a complement that was used for eating mm -hmm. and for so it's like a connector for talking mm -hmm. pass, but with progressive. Okay. You did great, Brandy. Thank you so much. Okay. Right now I would need another volunteer. Okay. Me Okay, Jancy, <laughs> can you help me since here to prayer? Prayer, okay. There was a little hole under the house that was called the cyclone cellar. The family hid in the cellar when the strong winds of a cyclone or cyclone blew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Across the pra prayers. Okay. It's cyclone. Cyclone, like, okay. Cyclone. What's the meaning of cyclone, guys? Cyclone. cyclone? Mm -hmm. In English? Cyclone. Cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. But if I ask you to, hey, what does it mean cyclone, guys? What do you say? Under some. Si yo te pregunto, what does it mean? O sea, ¿qué significa cyclone en inglés? Suponete, yo soy... Bueno, suponete que me acabas de conocer y solo puedo hablar en inglés. Si yo te pregunto, hey, Jancy, what does it mean? Cyclone. Thunderstorm. Maybe. No. No. No, but... It's relative with the light, with the storm. We can say maybe it's like a hurricane. No. It's not like that. No. What's, what is the difference, Brandy, between no. a cyclone and hurricane? A hurricane uh, means that you went. <laughs> In English. Okay, go ahead, Brandy. You can do it. Uh huh. Sorry. It's okay. I, I, I think cyclone is when, uh, like you say, when blue, the the air blue, and they like uh, make like uh, this, like a, uh, how do you say, um, like a circle? Mm -hmm. They are spinning? Uh, spinning, that, that, that's right, that's a good one. Yeah, like spinning, but yours is uh, uh, the air. Yeah, spinning. And the other was, uh, what is the other one? Uh, hurricane. Hurricane is uh, included with water with the, when the wind, the, when the air blew too, so. Mm -hmm. It's maybe I don't know similar. if it's okay. It's okay, but just let me ask you something, Brandy. What is the difference between air and windy or wind uh, a day windy is when you can see uh, through the three the three the, the, they are like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. the yeah. air is like uh right now we have we have to um <laughs> use the air for survive mm, this is the oxygen 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 okay it's a big difference between wind, air, and oxygen. Wind is the weather. It's when we see the trees move like this. The wind is the movement of the hair, right? Uh, yeah. And the air is like... Mm, mm. Mm, Maybe 
it would be it's not that it exists. <laughs> yes, it exists, but it will be it's, like it's a last teacher. The status of material. Yes, it's a gas, Yancy. But also we can use a status of material, like liquid, solid, and gas. That is the air. And what about oh, oxygen? Okay. It's something that we <laughs> respire. The oxygen. Breath. It's. We need to live. We no. need it to be. <laughs> The air is that we need to live. The oxygen, it's like, ¿cómo se llama esto? Eh, how do you say the L? Ah, it's an element. It's part of an element or like, like the hydrogen? Something like that. Gases. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, something like that. Uh, because oxygen, if you add uh, two oxygen with one hydrogen, you say a chemical one. element number eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's an element. It, it, it is a gas. Mm -hmm. A start of material. The top color, uh, you can smell. I, I read it in Spanish, mm -hmm. so I have to translate it. You can smell it. Uh, Brandy, do you remember the photosynthesis? Yep. Okay, when a photosynthesis happens, we smell. Uh, what we smell? Oh, dioxide de carbono. I, I don't know how okay. to say it in English. But also, if we can, if we can smell that kind of gas, also we will be able to smell the oxygen. Okay. Carbon uh, dioxide. You did a great job, all of you guys. Okay, Brandy. When we talk about weather, we use wind. But you did a great job explaining the big difference between a hurricane and a cyclone. Okay, right now I would need another volunteer. Mm -hmm. and... bum, 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 bum. Maximo, can you help us please? Can you read scenes here? To here. The hot sun hat burnt the paint of the little house. Now the paint on the house was gray. The sun had burnt the land around the house too. Everything on the prayer was gray. Uncle Henry and Aunt Anne had gray hair and gray, tired faces. Okay, thank you, Maximo. Okay, Maximo, let me know. Did you find new vocabulary here? Encontró nuevo vocabulario aquí. Prayer. 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 Es this one. Uh -huh. Prayer um... is it's a big piece of land where cows, sheep and another kind of animal can live, eat, and also you can uh, you can farm there. Okay. Uh -huh. Es como una pradera. Okay. Okay. Ahora bien, antes de continuar con lo que quiero mostrarles en este párrafo que dio máximo, se me olvidó preguntarles esto. What's the meaning of sila? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa uh, sigla, Kai? Yo lo busqué y dice cava, pero ni, ni sé qué es eso. ¿Qué dice? 
¿Cómo decía Chancy? Cava. Muy bien. Bodega, sótano, cueva. Muy bien. A cellar in this kind of house is like a hall. But this is an emergency place for this kind of uh, weather. En algunos estados de Norteamérica, las casas tienen basement. Antes de tener basement tenían sealer, que eran como pequeños agujeros que te ayudaban a ocultarte de los huracanes. Para que si se llevaba a tu casa, no te llevaran a ti. Porque eso es un sealer. Ahora bien, en este párrafo, guys, si se fijan, ya no estamos hablando de nuestras casas, como lo hicimos aquí. Ya no estamos hablando de nuestra geografía. We are talking about what, guys? ¿De qué estamos hablando aquí? Of the pain of the house, of the house. This is part yeah. about the weather. The weather. About the weather and the peace. Yes, ah. about the weather. If you see here, right now, Maximo, the hot sun. Also, the sun had burned the land. And what else, what else, what else? Ah, it's not say anything about, about plants. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Brandy. Okay. If we notice this kind, it's like for weather right now in our country. Okay. If it's like that, can you give me an example, please? Can you give me an example about the hot sun that we got in this weather? Nowadays, every day is hot. Also, yes, you did a great job, Brandy. Also, we can Even say... Even you can fry eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you did a great job because you expressed the idea. You are talking about right now about the weather. Muy bien, guys. Yo sé que van a decir, ah, tengo una mala idea, como lo dijo Brandy. Quiero que se enfoquen en esto. Cuando nosotros aprendemos inglés, obviamente vamos comenzando y hay conocimiento que vamos teniendo. Sin embargo, siempre nos va a faltar. Ahora, ¿cuál es la gran diferencia entre ocupar cierta estructura con decir otra cosa? El mini. Ejemplo, Brendy acaba de decir de que el weather actualmente en nuestro país está bastante caliente, ¿vale? La Crazy and hard. And Brand, uh, did Brandy use this? Uh, let me tell you this uh, structure. Brandy ocupó a present uh, participle en el momento de expresarse. No, ¿verdad? Y eso hace que esté mal. No, al contrario, lo hace que esté bien. Porque si nosotros no sabemos cómo expresarlo, tenemos que encontrar la forma de cómo decirlo con lo que ya sabemos. Como lo hizo ayer el señor Raúl, cuando pregunté sobre las, eh, los tres examples el día de ayer sobre las profesiones que no van a existir. Mr. Raúl said the profession, but he did not use the, the structure that we was uh, talking, just told. Talk just a Okay. Um, right now, I will need another volunteer, guys. 
Marina, can you help us, please? Yes, teacher. Can you read since Dorothy's too long? Okay. Dorothy's uncle, Henry, and Aunt M were poor, and they had worked very hard all their lives. It was not easy to be a farmer on the prairie. And Uncle Henry was always very tired. He never smiled and Aunt Amy M always looked sad too. But Dorothy was always laughing. The girl had a little black dog called Toto. Dorothy played with Toto all day long. Thank you so much, Marina. I like the way that you read because you maintain the same line, the same tone of voice, and the same time to speak. Cuando me refiero a tiempo, me refiero al mismo ritmo. Ahora bien, Marina, did you find your vocabulary here? Mm. Um, sure. In this moment, no, I don't know what is the meaning of very bad. You uh, said ready. Ah, great. Very, very. Pray. Pray. This one. Right. Yeah, the. The pronunciations. Is this Richard. one? Listen carefully. Prairie. 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 La prairie. La A y la I se convierten en una E y la última se convierte en una I. No necesariamente una I. Este simbolito tiene un nombre y su sonido es parecido a la I. Es como una fusión. Pero, you did a great job pronouncing that, girls. Ok. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Ahora bien, guys. Si se fijan, miren por dónde vamos ya. Ya llevamos cuánto? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco paragraphs. De estos paragraphs that we are reading, <laughs> Thank you, Jancy. Okay. Si se fijan, we have five paragraphs. And we are talking about the same story about Uncle Henry and Aunt Anne and Dorothy. But each paragraph talk about something different. The first one Geography. The second one about the house and the part that the house has. The next one also explain about a play a specific place and weather and the part of the weather about the house. And the next one it's totally about weather. What about the last one that we already read. It's about what? Acerca de qué trata este paragraph that que acabamos, que acaba de leer Marina. Guys? Dorothy's family, uncle, and aunt. Yes, also speak about like a daily routine. About yeah, daily routine. Uh -huh, about their life. Y si se fijan, miren lo que ocupó aquí. This one. What kind of past is this? Pass in poor. Where? Mm -hmm. A and this one. Mm 
Past perfect. Past perfect. Past participle. I will <laughs> wait to check. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. L let me let me show you what is different. I know. Yo cometí lo mismo. It's a mistake, guys. It's okay. Let me show you. Okay, guys, I know it's a little bit confused. Okay. A past participle, in this kind of cases, it will be the pair with a ED or T or T at the end. But the past perfect, it will be all the sentence. And the other one is past continuous, and the past continuous is. when we use the gerund at the with the pair in pass, the pair being pass. And what about if we don't use the the gerund? It's that simple. Por aquí ya tenemos el tipo de pass. Y aquí en esta parte lastima que no se puede Subrayar, pero si vemos aquí, simple pass. Pass perfect. Y lo único que los une es un end. Eso quiere decir que podemos mm, ocuparlo de esta forma. Nosotros podemos hacer oraciones mezclando más de un tipo de pasado. Uh -huh. ¿Qué opinan, guys? ¿Se podrá o no se podrá? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Ok. ¿Podemos ocupar o podemos hablar del pasado ocupando diferentes tipos de pasado? Yep. Yes. En la misma question. Ok, en la misma sentencia. Pero para poderlo hacer, ¿qué tenemos que agregar, chicos? Por ejemplo. About this. Si te fijas, aquí, Brandy. Took this one as an example. Since they to lips, it's past perfect. Since Dorothy to put, it's simple past. And the only word that we use to use both is. And they was working very hard. Junction. Connectors. 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 Mm -hmm. Or linking words. Connector or linking words. A connector. Can you give me an example of connector, Maximo? But not N, another, another one. Pass. I was your teacher. <laughs> Mm -hmm. but, by, the way. Mm -hmm. by the way, but mm -hmm. or in, in addition, then or, because maybe also no, yes, because that was my first one. <laughs> yes, mm, linking word in another way. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's different kind of linking word that we can use in order to connect two ideas. In, on, from, things. These are mm, 
prepositions. Yes. In, on, at. Ahora bien, las linking words hay diferentes. Hay unas que son de adición, unas que son de contraste y unas que son de consequence. Mm. A consequence linking word it would be because. An example. I'm truly sorry, guys. I'm late in my class because I love my boss. ¿Se fijan? Con la link en Word. Si ocupé, tú pas, tú. Ahora bien, vamos a seguir, guys. Y ahora vamos a ocupar al señor Jaime. Jaime, ¿nos podría ayudar, por favor? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Nos puede ayudar leyendo, uh -huh. Jaime, desde bad till flat. Okay. But today, Dorothy and Toto were not playing. Uncle Henry was studying with Dorothy, Dorothy in the doorway of the little house. He was looking at the gray sky and he was very worried. Then they heard the sound of, of a strong wind. It was conforming from the south. Sorry. It was coming from the south. Uh, a whistled and road. I don't know that word. Mm -hmm. You did it, you did it pronounce well. Right. It below, okay. Mm -hmm. It below the long grass of the of the priory until it was flat. Thank you. Can you pronounce it? Which one, sorry? This Blue, one. sorry. Blue, yes. This would be a, a great job. And the other one. Oh, Wink. <laughs> but you already pronounced, Brandy. <laughs> but this one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Win. Yes. That's okay. You did a great job. One okay, of the you. things that I lie when the rest is when you make a mistake, you correct yourself. I don't matter. I said, ah, oh, sorry, it's not like that. It's in this way. This is something good. Okay, right now, if I ask you guys, this paragraph is about what? Raúl, can you help me, please? Dígame, teacher. Can you help me? Okay, Raúl, dígame. ¿De qué trata este paragraph que Jaime acaba de leer? Um, permítame. Dice que ese día Toto no estaba no estaban jugando. Ah, en sí. inglés, ¿verdad? Ajá, okay. pero dígamelo en, en cortas palabras. Ajá. Ah. Eh, they, they were eh, a little worried. Eh, eh, the, the day, that day, they don't uh, they they want not playing uh, the day uh, but was uh, a little worried uh -huh. uh, um, um they heard um they had a song of the uh, a song like a cyclone uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. okay Raul, you are doing great you already described in your own words of the paragraph that the read since here to 
to here, we are talking about a daily routine that it change. For whatever reason, the daily routine change. And this part of the paragraph is talking about it. And as Brandy told us, the other part or the second part of the paragraph is about weather. ¿Cómo voy a saber cuál, cuál es tal o cómo la voy a reconocer? Hay palabras claves, guys. Ejemplo. ¿Qué tipo de estructura, guys, ocupamos para hablar sobre nuestra daily routine? Simple, this is past continuous. Mm -hmm. Is this past continuous also? Veámoslo eh, así. Cuando vamos a hablar sobre una daily routine, nosotros ocupamos eh, present simple, así de fácil. ¿Por qué? Porque solo lo decimos en el verbo. Ahora bien, when we talk about what do you do, do yesterday or in the past about a daily routine, sometimes we will use a different, for example, a continuous, a past continuous. Also, we will use simple past two, and we can use also the past perfect two. Pero tenemos que saber que para hablar específicamente de esa de nuestras rutinas o que hicimos o una rutina de nuestro pasado, el día pasado vamos a ocupar simple past o past continuous. Ahora bien, otra cosa que nos puede ayudar a saber sobre la daily routine es el contexto. Si se fijan, ¿se acuerdan que los medios marinos en el párrafo anterior? Simple past. Uh -huh. Pero no solo nos habló de simple past. Nos habló de una rutina. Ella acabó con una rutina. Dorothy play with Thor all day long. Es como Brandy work out um, all day long. Es como decirlo así. Ahora bien, por eso al siguiente cuando comenzamos a leer y vemos acciones como ah ya dijo que Dorothy play ah en here says that we're not playing o sea no están jugando we're talking about actions a day routine and this to here why we can uh, what we can be really sure that we are talking about weather. Porque podemos estar segundo, seguro de que estamos hablando sobre weather aquí, guys. Nobody. Go ahead, Brandy. You can do it. No, I mean, somebody how to do it too. Okay, let me choose, let me pick one. Uh, Vanessa, can you help me, please? Yes. Okay, Vanessa, se lo voy a preguntar en español. ¿Por qué puedo estar seguro que desde aquí a aquí estoy hablando yo de weather, sobre el clima? Que lo lea. No, solo dígame por qué puedo decir o cuáles son las palabras que le hacen pensar a usted de que estamos hablando sobre weather. ¿Puedes repetirlo? Eh, ¿cuáles, son las, eh, ¿Cuáles son las palabras que encuentra usted relacionadas al weather en este párrafo? Eh, eh, win, strong uh -huh. win. Ajá, esa es una. Eh, y, uh -huh. With, with legs. 
What's the meaning of whistle? Whistle. Whistle. Susurros. And another one. Yeah. Thank you, Vanessa. You did a great job. Si se fijan, guys, para poder tener una mejor comprensión, solo hay que tener un poquito de vocabulario. Si nosotros vemos, ah, it's a blue. Also, it's at the sky. And wind. Ah, that's mean that we are talking about weather. Y así podemos seguir nosotros leyendo. Muy bien. Faltan 10 minutos. Podemos seguir leyendo, guys. Y tenemos de aquí. Dame. Ah, este está corto. Raúl, ¿le, eh, ¿podría ayudarnos, por favor? Podría leer desde aquí, desde Endless Dares, hasta Horse. Uh, there's there's a cyclone coming. M. Un, Uncle Henry called to called to his wife. Get into the cyclone cellar. You get into Dorothy. I look after the cows and house. Cows. Cows. Cows on horse. Cows. Esta, señor Raúl, esta la pronunciamos con A. Cows. Sí. Cows. Ok. That's perfect. I like, I love the way that you read this part. You get into. Y esto también. Get into the cyclone sealer. La leyó muy bien, Raúl. Pero ahora viene la parte difícil. Ponerle sal y pimienta a la lectura. Raúl, dígame esta frase que está aquí. Así sombreada, pero dígamelo como si de verdad pasara, como que usted está viendo que viene el gran ciclón ahorita. Y nos va a decir a todos que nos metamos ahí. Pero dígamelo con emoción. Get into the cyclone cellar. That's right. That's the way that I want to listen to you. Okay. You did a great job. Ahora, bien. En este pequeño paragraph que estamos leyendo, ya comenzamos a ver algo nuevo. Estas partes que ven aquí tienen que ver, está relacionada con algo que se llama reported speech. Que es cuando nosotros hablamos algo sobre una persona que lo habló. Es como, fíjate que mi amigo dijo, o fíjate que Chancy dijo, fíjate que Máximo dijo. Aparte de eso, ya nos vamos entrando en historia. Ya nos van contando los sucesos que van. Que están, obviamente, sufriendo nuestros characters. Si seguimos leyendo. Voy a necesitar ahora. Vamos a ver. A un voluntario. Esta vez sí lo voy a pedir así. ¿Quién le gustaría leer esa parte? No es mucho. Brandy, go ahead, pero póngale pimienta y sal a esa lectura. Just this two line. Just those two line. But with with sazón. <laughs> okay. Quick, Dorothy, get inside. Aunt Em cried as she opened the wooden trap door to the cellar. I don't know how to pronounce this. Wooden. Trap door. Wooden. 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 Okay. Esto. Y aquí, permíteme. 
esto de ti, burned it wood, es madera. Yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah. And wooden truck, it's like something made with wood. Es como la, la, la puerta, la, la, la. La trampilla la... que jalan ese. Okay, sí, sí. Okay. Yes, yeah. I, I try to do my emphasis in the first two. Uh... Quick Dorothy. Okay. <laughs> Let quick me... Dorothy, get inside. Yes, but you read like, quick Dorothy, get inside to the car. We go to the shopping right now. <laughs> you do read in that feeling. And it's okay. But right now it's happening in a storm. It's something really, really worried because we will lose our house. We have More to dramatic. Say, yes. Quick Dorothy, get inside. Um, and cried as she opened the wooden trap door to the cedar. Pero lo van a decir bien. Eso, entre más practiquen, guys, más, 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 van a ir. Just ustedes, to uh -huh. Van a ir aprendiendo cómo expresarlo. Una cosa es que lo podamos hablar, una cosa es que lo podamos leer y entender. Pero viene siendo lo mismo que hablábamos anteriormente, guys. Déjeme ver si encuentro una question. Aquí está. Imagínense esto. Yo vengo y le digo, where am I? Ahora, si le digo, where am I? Es lo mismo que estoy diciendo, pero se escucha el énfasis en la pregunta. It's the same as the falling and rising intonation that we learn in this model. Muy bien, guys. We got just three minutes. El libro es largo. Muy, muy largo. Son cerca de 300 páginas, guys. No sé si ustedes querrán, lo querrán o no, que se los pase. Y así puedan practicar un poco. Go ahead. Yes, teacher. Ok, o prefieren que les mande otro un poquito más especial. No, you can, well, you can share this and you can share the other one. It's okay. Ok, because I was thinking about to share the strength case of Mr. High and Dr. Jenkins. Mm. Okay, it's, it's, it's like a, it's a book about detectives and also science fiction, sci-fi. Okay. Or oh, you can choose. But with the Mr. High, it happens like, hmm, I cannot say this word because when I upload the, the video, maybe YouTube will tell may a ban in this video but is uh, when a person pass away but not uh, as narrow as form it's because someone else helped and everybody tried to find who made that kind of things no but, spoiler so that's all the way i see okay Está este es otro. Pueden leer Dr. Jenkins si le gustan las cosas de detectives. O podemos leer The Wizard of Oz. Ustedes eligen. The Wizard of Oz también tiene mucho vocabulario acerca de geografías y weather. En paz. Y the other one just has paz, YouTube, and also. A lot of new vocabulary, but it's up to you. El que quiera wizard, ponga wizard en el chat. Y el que quiera el de Mr. High, solo ponga Mr. High. Can I say both? <laughs> really? Well, why not? <laughs> okay, I, I will send both. Okay. Yeah, excuse me, teacher. Uh, when do we finish the platform? 
eh, tomorrow, solo nos falta uh -huh. el final exam, Raúl. Y el final exam solo son cuatro partes. Teacher, I can't finish the section 5.4 and 5.5. Ok, vamos a darle una revisión rápido porque ya es time para irnos. Time. Ok. Señor Raúl, ¿podría escribirme al privado? Y así yo con mucho gusto le envío las respuestas. Ok, teacher. Perfect. Ok, guys, it's time. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. I hope you have a beautiful night. And until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. You. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.